Hello and welcome to Arca at Old Texas. Uh, it's been a while. Got a, a new job that's been kind of taking up my time a little bit. Um, left me feeling too tired to do races. And uh, the free time that I do have, it's late and I've got uh, people sleeping around me. So I can't really be yapping about racing and all that. So <laughs> um, it's been about a week or so since... I've recorded, and uh, since I've raced, I did a couple of races. Um, just done my own time, but I, like I said, I didn't want to be making a bunch of noise, so didn't get any recordings done. And uh, this is actually my second attempt at this particular one today, too. It's uh, an early morning race, green flag, green flag. Um, okay. Here comes which is a little green unusual flag. for me. It's got me as the number three, second. I want to get this right. Um, so the first attempt, um, I messed up qualifying first of all, so I want to get it right this time. A little conservative in three and four there. One more Could have taken that a little harder. Uh, let's see. A little better. Still a little soft through there. This is gonna be worse than the first lap, I think, unfortunately. Oh well. Uh, 850, 856, oh, about the same lap. Um, that should be better than last time, though. So, now I can tell the story of what happened. Um, I didn't qualify so great. Uh, it had been a week since I last race, so I was a little, uh, Rusty, I'm still gonna be a little rusty, but um, messed up qualifying. Still got like ninth or something, I think it was. And uh, you know, first bit of the race was fine. Uh, I was able to move forward a little bit, and then I reached uh, the number five car, and he just started blocking me really bad. So um, it was on the back stretch, so I would come around uh, out of turn two here, and. Uh, I would have a run on him, and I would go down here, and he'd block me, and then he did that for like three laps, and uh, in the third lap, you know, it was a really bad one, where like I had a huge run on him, and he just kept blocking, and I'm like, I'm not lifting you for you much longer, dude, so I, uh, I gave him a tap on the exit, uh, I, I, not into the corner, but just before the corner, to show my displeasure and tell him, like, give him a warning, like, hey, you block me like that anymore, I'm losing time to the people ahead, you clearly have not been saving your tires, so it was like right here, didn't turn him, he didn't even get out, out of the groove, just gave him a 0x to warn him, say, like, cut the blocking, I'm not gonna deal with it anymore, and then, uh, the next lap, coming through, uh, turn two here, uh, I kind of entered a little higher and then kept it low and I got my nose on him right about here so he couldn't block me and then I make the pass and he lets off early into turn three crosses over and then just gasses it up blatantly takes me out and then it's a huge wreck he wrecks himself in the process takes out the whole rest of the field half the fields wrecked out so he got a nice protest ruined my race and I'm kind of sour about it because I don't have as much time to race anymore. I don't have time to be waiting around. I, there's a lot of combos I want to do today before the week switch is over. I don't have time for that garbage. For people to like be intentionally wrecking over nothing. It was literally a warning tap. <laughs> he, didn't he didn't even lose the spot. He didn't even get knocked out of his lane. It was a warning tap and he was so upset that he was getting passed, I guess. That he decided to cross over and just wreck himself and me. So I don't know what his problem was blocking for, I don't I think it was like sixth or something on lap nine. Like, I don't know what your issue is, but I had to spend more time protesting. So a little sour, but at least this time I got a better uh, qualifying lap in. Still not as good as I would have hoped, but um, it's kind of tough. 
It's tough to get the qualifying lap in, because you kind of have to, like, the way I've been doing it is, you know, gassing it up into the corner to get that rotation. This is hot lap, by the way, like, you don't want to be doing this during the, <laughs> during the race, but um, you kind of, like, go hold it on the gas a little bit so you get that rotation on entry, and then uh, it's all about, like, just having just the right amount of throttle, not to overdrive it, but kind of keep it rotating. I didn't quite do it right, but... Uh, yeah, I should say, like, uh, this hasn't been such a great combo for me, which uh, is a bit disappointing, because usually I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with Texas, both configurations. Um, I really like this track, <laughs> which makes me a weirdo already, because most people don't like this track, um, especially the new configuration, but I like both. Um, but, uh, like, my only, I think my only affixed our A-class race in general that I've won that's not at a super speedway has been at Texas. So, um, I've got some wins um, in other cars here. It's generally been pretty good for me, but, uh, and you would think, like, hey, the Arca guy's like my favorite. Maybe I'll do uh, okay here, but I don't know. The combo's just not really, not really clicking for me too well. So, um, let's see if we can make it through this race without someone having a poopy diaper fit and wrecking me because I'm passing them and uh, you know maybe we'll have a nice finish that's all I want <laughs> all I want is a nice finish like Jesus if he uh, had been faster than me and reached him I'm gonna let him go like I don't know what his problem was but uh, I'll try not to get hung up on that too much and uh, focus on this race it did just happen so that's why I'm still kind of saucy about it <laughs> but just the audio stuff a little bit, and we should be good to go here soon. Uh, something I want to do is get the front brake bias not so front anymore. <laughs> uh, later in the run, we do kind of want to start using the brake to rotate it a little bit. And I want to get the most out of that as I can. So, do a little bit of that. But hopefully we can uh, avoid having to do that for too long. Who so gets a good start? <laughs> um, I can avoid uh, having to need to for as long as I can, trying to save the tires. So, hopefully, this one goes a little better. 35 laps. Too bad. Uh, kind of trying to think, like, this is always like a trouble whenever this happens where I like have to do another attempt because I get wrecked out early and it's just me running laps down the rest of the race and no one wants to watch that not me <laughs> especially not me so um it's always tough it's like what did i say the first time are there important things i wanted to say that i did good luck drivers why is this two crowding the one so hard hey friends i don't know why they're doing that but it's the second gear start um first gear you're like already on the limiter at the pace speed, so. Good you You're gonna want to get to the inside. Equipment and just wreck the two car. Get ready, going green. I got the expensive. There we go. Yeah, I was kind of ready for that because uh, the uh, number one was the pole sitter in the last race too, and uh, he did that really early start, so I was kind of ready for it. I don't really want to be out here. Just let off a little bit, let them get ahead so we can get on the low line. Because fighting out there is just going to burn the tires off. I can already tell you, this extra track position from qualifying better is already so much nicer. Um, hopefully we can keep it. I have like guys behind us that are... Not so worried about tire saving and have to fight them for any, anything. But, uh, we'll see what happens. Try to keep up. Another thing I uh, also do, I probably mention this a lot, or maybe I don't, maybe I forget to mention it. Uh, I always set my steering offset to like negative 15 in the ARCA car because I don't like the way it naturally pulls to the left. Um, I know that's kind of like, well, but that's what the ARCA car does, that's what it's all about. I, mean, I just don't like it. <laughs> I prefer to have it kind of centered. 
Makes me feel like I have more precise control of where I'm trying to be, so. That's that. Just uh, trying to keep on this low side, because it feels like it rotates better so long as you hold that lower line. Trying to keep uh, partial throttle. Uh oh! Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Inside. I don't want to be out here. Stay high. Stay high. Oh, now we're stuck on the outside. Couldn't just hit the brakes more. I'm just going to let off. Clear inside. Now we are I'm threatened to be freight trained. Uh, that's about to be in. We're fine. Okay, we got the bottom again. I'm not gonna waste my tires hanging out out there though. Thought maybe I'd be able to clear them real quick, but not the case. Yeah, I didn't lose enough speed by getting sideways. So, uh, put an end to that outside business quickly. There's no need for it. Seem a little bit erratic. Scaring me a little bit. Chris feeling good so far though. Getting the rotation. Entry there. Didn't quite get it as low as I wanted. But, uh, hey, we've made it this far in the race and didn't die because of a, a, another guy, so. This race has already gone better. I think it was about lap 7, 8, or 9 or so. Um, but, pretty darn early. tell if I'm saving my tires better or if I'm overdriving already. But it uh, looks like we have some pretty good speed. These guys are real like close to each other, all jammed up. Oh, oh. Might have been some blocking right there. The lap time was at 30.5. Sound goes a little higher. Maybe that's the uh, M.O. this week. Everyone's just blocking. It's block happy this week here at this combo. I haven't been a part of it, so I don't know these things. Maybe that's just the agreed upon thing. We're just going to block everybody all the time. I don't know if you intended to block them early in the lab, but... Uh, it's kind of crazy for a second. They, that's what they were doing. Could be hard to uh, pass later in the run. That's for sure. Uh, with kind of the one lane nature of this track. Got to pass on the exit of corners. Maybe take a wider uh, entry. Pick up higher. And then uh, be able to cut down or be on the lower side. Exit. Kind of like that. I don't know if I want to do it yet, though. Still trying not to turn the wheel too much. Oh, shoot, don't do that. I was watching him in too much. Talk about wider entry. It's about as wide as you can get. It's okay, no one saw that. Right? Agree? Everyone agree? No one saw that? That didn't happen. About time to start maybe using a little bit of brake. Rotate it. Want to be ahead of the curve. Not uh, wait until it's completely necessary, but rather just do it. Be ahead of the uh, tire wear. Hopefully that didn't like 
hurt my tires or anything by hitting the wall. Got me out of my rhythm though a little bit. It's opposite now. Lots of space behind, not to the four car, but behind them. Just all really close ahead of us. I had to go and hit that wall, though, didn't I? I think that probably hurt me. Ugh, frustrating. It's that rustiness, I'm telling you. Not the good rustiness, like Rusty Wallace-ness. That makes you good at short tracks. But, like, the rustiness that makes you hit the wall on this freaking straightaway. <laughs> Speaking of, that Napa guy almost kind of looked like he did almost, and but he's going for the pass now. Makes me want to be up there. Got to take advantage. Crossover, maybe? You got some good racing. Come on, guys. I want to be part of it. Want to be part of the fun? Find a way to negotiate that and not lose very much time. Get real close to that bottom white line. Helps you turn. Just uh, don't go too close to it. You start getting sideways. But... Oh, about a bad angle there, maybe. Not quite in the rhythm that I want to be. Ooh, that was like a weird entry there, too. These guys are real close. Okay, Should probably be turning the wheel less on exit. Because not only is that faster, but I'm obviously turning the wheel less. Like, better for me if I did that. Ooh. A massive run there. Holy cow. They had to lift off. Because they're going to hit the wall, I think. And they started saying, pass left, pass left. I saw it just in time. I saw them lifting. I saw them like, going a little softer. I didn't think they were going to hit the wall, though. So I didn't think they were going to have to lift that much. But doing it, so... Glad I didn't uh, hit him. Yeah, in front of him. Still time to be nice to the tires because we're just barely past halfway. It'd be great if these guys fight and burn their tires off. And then I could be here to capitalize. But uh, as far as I know, I'm burning the tires off too, so. They look like they're being smart about it, though, because when they do get side-by-side, side, they don't, like, battle it out for several laps. Kind of figure something out. Go back to where they were, or, uh, settle in. Should be interesting, though. They're kind of, like, a little bit of a half group up. I think, uh... We're better off when we're closer to that white line. Is that brake to get it turning? It's pretty good. I think we saved better than the seven. They seem like they're falling back. That's a good sign. They're getting weird through the tri oval. It's like they maybe had a nose on them almost, and then the door closed. Could get interesting. They seem like they might be racing hard. I 
Draft is not a very big thing in these cars, but I've had their draft too. So whatever. I don't know. Tenth of a tenth of a lap. Thousandths of a second I'm getting from doing that. It's nice. It adds up in a 35 lap race, you know. However little it might be. Could shape up to be a very interesting finish, whether I'm part of it or not, because these guys are uh, pretty close on pace. The next car's the leader. All right, so we got another lead change, and we're right here. So it's one, two, three right now, in terms of uh, position and I rating. Matching up. Maybe we could pull the upset. Get past number two here. And eh, we don't have to run. Not quite ready to start trying real hard. Ooh, I right the wall. But if uh, this guy's going to be doing that, I don't want to be behind him. They seem like they don't have very much tire left, so I'm going to try to get anything inside. Oh, they're just getting a better runoff, though. I'm going to have to take a higher entry or something. Yeah, there we go. This is going to be good. Looks like they might be uh, conceding. The next car's the leader. Still there. Outside, clear. All right, let's go catch this one. I tried to anyway. Might be about time to go. Seem like they've saved pretty well too. Uh oh, what do we got going on here? We got some single split scariness going on. Station on the throttle. Keep an eye on whatever's happening there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ruined the one car's entry. Thank you, Mark. I mean, the, the guy tried to get it out of the way. He's real weird about it, though. Looks like the one car uh, had to... take a uh, weird entry to kind of give him space. Trying to get green right now. Trying to get that green in the last lap section. Kind of entered a little harder there. I'm not sure if it paid off too much though, because I gained on entry, I kind of lost with the X. Yeah, he just seems, uh, he's got enough pace to keep in front of us. We're trying though, we're really trying. I have five to go here. Five to go. Yeah, I'm trying to go now, but it's not making any time up. Try to get it sideways on entry. Didn't help at all, though. That made it worse. I'm trying things. Honestly, that uh, wider entry, that one, that one lap, didn't quite feel so bad. Let's see how that feels. 
Feels bad, feels bad, feels bad. Oh! Almost got on the wall. Hate that. Oh, oh this guy's on me. Well, oh, I tried something and it did not work. Now we might lose second because of it. I don't know where you are too, you're blinking. I'm sorry if I pinched you or something. Inside. Still there. Clear. Wow, that was weird. I'm glad we didn't wreck. Alright, well, <laughs> that was scary. That was really scary. To try to figure out what was going on. Oh. <sighs> See if we can get the spot back because I do feel like I'm faster. I just messed up. Trying something different to try to catch the one. What flag did con? But uh, I think it's too late now. self-explanatory. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, whatever. Good win. Well done, Colton. Great drive. That's a podium. Okay. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Nice run. Uh, well, we lost second trying something weird. <laughs> trying to do that wider entry. And uh, didn't have the tire for it anymore. But... Oh well, third place. That's where we're supposed to finish, apparently. So, and uh, we survived this time. Actually, get to upload a video this week. How about that? Hopefully, some more. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do some more races, but oh, P3 got it on the podium. Um, kind of curious, like what that blink out thing was. If I wonder if we'll even be able to see what exactly happened. Yeah, you saw him blinking out. You're ready, Jimmy. Hmm. Hmm. So he starts blinking out right here, and I'm like, this was a crucial time I needed to see exactly where he was, because I want to be able to close the door on top if I'm clear, and then all of a sudden... Now, now where? Well, am I clear? I don't know. So I'm like, I can't just go up to the top all the way. And then suddenly he's like here, broken? I don't know what's going on. But he's doing like a crossover. So I don't know what... I have no idea, no clue what's happening. And so because of all that, he's able to get the crossover done. Because I'm like lifting out. I don't know what's going... You know, like normally I would go ahead and gas it up on exit, but then I ruin my run off because I don't know where he is, and then he's got the nose on me, kind of, so can't take the corner, and of course he's got the bottom now, so that was the end of that battle. So that's that stunk. I think I could have kept second had that gone a little differently, but uh, second, third, whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, let's take a look at... Oh my god, what did I do? Uh, <laughs> the, the incidents in the race. All right, so lap one, got looseness on those cold tires. Didn't seem like uh, seemed like oh, they were okay though. Just got loose. Baby tap with the wall that probably didn't even really happen. That one really happened though. That's a 16 that was having trouble later. That last lap, I don't want to be too mad at him. That was a bad situation. He was way off the pace and uh, it's single split, so you're gonna have big speed differences. Um. The two obviously had more reason to be mad than me, so I'll leave that up to him if he wanted to complain at him. But
But uh, it's a single split, so you got guys having trouble. And uh, you got to understand that. Even the six cars having trouble getting along. Oh, they, burn, they burn their tires off already. I don't know, once they were getting no turn at all. They might be driving it like they're expecting it to have more downforce or something. It's really cool. Oh no. Because you really got to let off here. Another car is you're almost like flat out here at Old Texas, so. We're going to hit some wall. We're going to get guys into each other. Nope, that got scary though. That got really wobbly. Baby tap. Uh, looks like 16 is going to hit the wall again. Gotta adjust if you're like hitting the wall. Oh no! Oh no, the 7. They were having a great race. Oh no! In the practice session before um, we hopped into this session, um, he and I were kind of like doing a battle for the fastest lap in the open practice. We were only a couple thousandths off, so I know he's fast. He just uh, didn't save very the tires very well, I don't think. And then, uh, fortunately, got the wall there, and that uh, got him all sideways. Ah, oh, that stinks. We were racing pretty good there uh, for a while, so I hate to see that. Here's that two. I think the two got the wall at one point, didn't he? Ooh, pretend wall. <laughs> Maybe not real wall. But uh, I thought I remembered one time. I think it was on entry that was when I saw that. Skills car. Skills having a great run. Yeah, look at that. 19 car in fifth. Top five. That's awesome. Great run by the Skittles. I don't know why we're seeing this. That's these guys laps down. Yeah, they're laps down. I think this is actually near the end of the race. Blinking. So apparently they were blinking behind us before they were even near us. Oh. Went way off pace straight away, and the eleven tries to go around him, but could get it to stick. Ooh, nineteen keeps it out of the wall. Just barely gave it a touch. How we're saying that? I guess I should look at my tires. I really burned them off at the end. 6081. Started really pushing at the end. I thought it was kind of a shame because, like, <laughs> once I start like pushing really hard at the end, it kind of negates all the tire saving I did. So I don't really get a good idea of how well I actually to save the tires. Is this the weird blink out thing? Yeah, just the worst time for that to be happening. And then he's gone for all that time, and then. And then all of a sudden he's got his nose on the inside, and it's like, oh wow. Great news for me. Teleports inside me. <laughs> like on the inside of my car, it's getting the preferred line. Teleports behind you, nothing personnel, kid. That was uh, his special move. Number nine's got a car that looks like it hasn't loaded in, but I think that's just straight up what their car looks like. 14 just runs into the back of them. I, I, you have to assume they were trying to go around. And you see them kind of getting the wall there, so you think, like, okay, turn left, go around them. But uh, I guess maybe he thought that he was going to spin to the inside and had to be on the outside, so it was kind of like a sidestepping thing. Sure didn't lift, though. <laughs> Smoking kills. And then, uh, or nine. They paid dearly for their instant there, and then... <laughs> this unfortunate thing. Um, I didn't get it. Yeah, I, didn't get it. I had to lift off super hard not to hit him, but I knew I had room behind, so... I mean, just look how far off the wall he is. There's no reason for him to be all the way down there. He's struggling hard. But, you know, I look how hard I have to get on the gas real hard not to hit him. Get the tires. It's not like we would have had a shot at the two or anything, though, I don't think. He would have had to really mess up turns three and four 
for us to have a shot, and I don't think it was happening, and we didn't lose any spots about for Emmett because we were far enough ahead, but that's cool. Obviously didn't do it on purpose, so that's fine. And then coming to the checkered, four just overdrives it, trying to prevent the 19 from getting him. 19, earning that top five. They're the driver of the race, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Ford just takes it a little too wide, and then uh, overdrives it on the old tires, trying to stick it. So we uh, can't keep that bottom. Goes up and hits the wall. Did he lose? Did he lose any more spots doing that? Nope. So he just lost the one spot. So that could have been worse for him. But 19, awesome race. But uh, whatever. <laughs> oh. That's about the 19. <laughs> That's uh, that for my race. I got uh, 0x, podium, and uh, didn't get intentionally wrecked early in the race by a guy who wants to block and, uh, hit, and be so angry that he's blocking that he takes me out for it. I don't understand. But that's in the past as well. I hope that was fun to watch. Glad I got a race done. And upload, I'm going to upload it for this week. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next time a little sooner. <laughs> Bye.